to Ed. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate it. I am really excited to be able to work with my good friend, Rob Lee, to share with you information about this brand new SAN Cybercast infrastructure. It's a great experience. And I do think this is the first time I've ever had the honor of doing a webcast with Rob Lee. We'd like to tell you more about Cybercast and how it's so much more than virtual training. You see, the cybersecurity community must be more diligent now than ever before. The attackers have really amped up their game in light of the world situation. I tell you, they're attacking hospitals. You've certainly seen in the news how they're attacking government agencies. Spear phishing is off the charts. And we need to work together as a community to make sure we're defending our organizations and enterprises. And you know, Sam started building a virtual training infrastructure quite a while ago. We did in response to the SARS situation back in 2003, and then we really doubled down on that investment after the H1N1 situation. And now what we're doing is we're pulling together this online training experience that is based on SANS classes, but also includes a lot of other fantastic features that we want to share with you. When you put all this stuff together, we're talking SANS classes, on-demand, simulcast, VLive, webcast, net wars, and a whole bunch more, we call the whole thing SANS Cybercast. It's an exciting new online experience from SANS. And we'd like to tell you how you can take advantage of the various pieces of this, whether you're taking a SANS class right now or taking one in the near future, or if you're just part of the community and want to participate in some of the great Cybercast opportunities. Rob, let me turn it over to you. Thanks, Ed. So one of the great things about SAN Cybercast is the fact that when we sit there and you know take a step back and look at that, you know, how we got to this point, we wanted to take the same amazing SAN training experience, whether it's an on-demand at a live classroom experience, we wanted to envelop that and level up that experience, especially since a lot of us are currently sitting in remote locations and saying, you know, the only way that we can access this material is online and virtually. So we said, what can we do not only to accelerate and enhance the classroom experience, but also try to involve more of you in the community to bring them into SANS training and educational opportunities uh, from your remote uh, home locations and office environments. So the way, the way we started to take a look at this is we you know, looked at what makes a, a SANS class really good and how to make that the best experience online. So we took our instructors and we're dropping them into one of the most amazing platforms out there to in, encourage the student and the instructor experience like uh, there's none other. So it's the same labs, the same virtual private network connected uh, target range environment, the same capabilities of students to be able to chat with one another and also to ask, ask uh, questions live to a live instructor that's standing in front of them. So, the way it works is that, you know, a normal SANS event is basically a, a six-day training experience. Some a little bit shorter, so, um, but most will be around six days. So we start at usually 9 a.m. and we go to 5 uh, p.m. in the evening. So the instructor will interact with the students and teach their material as normal, and you do the labs uh, just like you would in a normal classroom experience. And, of course, you are sitting around virtually to the other SANS uh, students near you. In the evenings or after class, we also have an exciting, uh, you know, amount of opportunities from the typical stands at night, which we're now calling stands at mic, to be able to allow not only those attending the event, but those in the community to attend these exciting and cutting edge talks for free. Uh, and we're also looking for additional community experiences that we're going to be iterating on uh, from this week forward all the way through June and probably a little bit past it, uh, looking for how can we make SAN Cybercast the potential you know, community building and best training experience that possibly is out there. Next slide. So here's what it looks like when you're a SAN student in the classroom. And this is the thing that I really try to emphasize is that this instructor is live and you're interacting with them. You could ask them a question, you could ask them to stop, you could ask them to slow down. You could say, what about this? I'm currently seeing this in my own organization today. And you know, that is going to allow the instructor to focus on you directly and focus on those in a direct conversation with you, the students. We also, in the classroom, we have subject matter experts, in addition to every class has a full-time moderator that is going to help you out in case there's any potential challenges that occur with you getting connected or any problems with the lab and the lab environment. The, uh, the end of the week that 
capture the flag challenge is always going to be done uh, the same way it's done at our normal SAMS event. And if you're in a group event, yeah, that we're going to still be able to do that because we're virtual and we can connect students to be able to work together remotely uh, from different locations worldwide. The one thing here that I really get excited telling people about is that because it's virtual, we are recording every session. We break the sessions down in half the increment. So a three-hour session in the morning, a three-hour session in the afternoon. And we basically are recording that and in your uh, portal account as a SAM student, you're going to be able to re-listen to any of the lectures that occurred during that point in time for up to four months um, after the actual live experience uh, took place with you in that classroom. In addition to that, you know, for those of you who are looking for the MP3s to be able to listen when you're running and working out or even uh, driving in your car, um, we also have that available so you can download and re-listen to the lecture. The cool thing is about the MP3s versus the recording is in some cases the MP3s are going to be the actual original author of the material where the course may be taught by another expert in the field. So you potentially get two different perspectives on the same exact material which is fantastic if you're looking at a different perspective of trying to learn a different way, especially on a very complex area if you're signed up for the GX certification. Well, let's talk about some of the cool things you're going to get in addition to the world-class training as a virtual student. Next slide, please. So when we were thinking about CyberCast, we decided to sit down, to, uh, take a seat back, and said, what makes a SANS event really special? In addition to the networking and the bonding that you're able to do with the students live at an event, we decided that people like the one-offs. They like to be able to find out what is the most cutting edge of tax, what are people seeing for research projects, and we decided to wrap that into a new at-night session called Sands at Mind. Because it's worldwide, we're, we have scheduled these on Monday and Wednesday for twice a day, uh, different talks, by the way, that you could tune into and listen to as the community. So this is something free for the community in addition to any same student live in an event. And of course, they will be archived and available online after we record them. That way you could listen in if you miss one in particular of interest to you. In addition to that, we're gonna be hosting additional community events. We're gonna be doing lunch and learns at events later uh, in March and moving into April and May. And Lunch and Learn is a great way to have vendors interact with the students and teach them about new uh, capabilities that works and is helping defend organizations today. Uh, in addition to that, and this is where I get super excited and where Ed's going to uh, take, uh, take this back over to talk about his ranges, but to capture the flag experiences via networks and some of the things that Ed is about to tell you really gets me excited, especially for those of you out there who are taking a class or in the community and you want to still build your skills and you don't want to just uh, listen to an online presentation. So, Ed, can you tell us about what we have in store uh, for the Capture the Flag stuff that you have up your sleeve? Thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. We have a lot of really cool offerings here. Now, with your SANS courses, of course, you have some fantastic labs offered within the course itself. But in addition to that, we have a variety of different Capture the Flag events offered on a weekly basis. So you can see the schedule that we have here on the right-hand side of the screen. But for students that are enrolled in a SANS course, and if you've enrolled and paid for that course from March 1st to March 31st, we want to give you access to the NetWars environment, either core NetWars, DFIR NetWars, cyber defense NetWars, and we're going to offer them on approximately a bi-weekly basis. So you can see March 19th through 20th, there'll be a core NetWars tournament available via CyberCast for all the students who were enrolled over that March 1st to May 31st timeframe. So any student that's enrolled in and paying for a class over that timeframe, you can participate in that NetWars, that NetWars tournament. But then also we have on alternating weeks for the entire community for free, we have other capture the flag and NetWars environments. So March 26th through 27th, we have our Cyber Fast Track. Really exciting, I'm gonna tell you more about that on the next slide, but you should definitely register for that. It's, it's really, really cool. Also, on April 2nd through 3rd, we're gonna be it, releasing a really new thing. It's called Mini NetWars. It's a brand new content with a brand new scenario, and we'll be running it in a series of missions. Mini NetWars Mission 1 will be April 2nd and 3rd, Mini NetWars Mission 2 will be April 23rd through 24th, and then later on we'll roll out Mission 3 and Mission 4. 
This is all brand new content that is offered to the entire community for free. And I've seen the initial pieces of mini networks as they're coming together. They're fun. They're whimsical. They're really, really cool. You'll participate in this environment and have to solve challenges. Awesome stuff. Also available to the entire community, April 6th and 7th, we have the OSINT Missing CTF. This is where you get to work on real cases of missing people to try to help find evidence of where they might be and help make the world a better place. So if you look and see the asterisks here, that's where we have a CTF style environment that is open for the entire community. And then the places where we don't have the stars, the asterisks, those are where we're going to have networks events for people who are taking the class. Now, there's some really neat aspects of this. For example, if you're taking a SANS course, you're going to be able to play the various flavors of NetWars. I'm talking core, defer, and cyber defense multiple times. You see, if you were to go to a face-to-face -face SANS training event, you would be able to play one NetWars, perhaps, if you went to an event that happened to have it. But if you're taking your course now, which is being offered via SANS CyberCast, you'll get access to the core NetWars tournament. That's great. That's fantastic. But then a few weeks later, you're going to get access to the DFER tournament. And then a couple weeks after that, you're going to get access to the cyber defense tournament. In other words, instead of just going to one network type, you're going to be able to go through all three of those. And then we're going to wrap around and start with core again, where you'll be able to go through core the second time and pick up right where you left off. That's awesome. Additionally, if you're not taking a SANS class over this time interval, we'll still have every other week, and sometimes even more often than every other week, a CTF available for you, like mini net wars or the cyber fast track environment. In other words, the bottom line here, if you're a SANS student, you're going to have a SANS CTF every week. If you're in the community at large and not currently a SANS student, we're going to have a SANS CTF for you every other week. That's pretty darn cool. And there's a couple things I really want to focus on here. First is SAN Security Awareness, which has released some fantastic new materials as part of the CyberCast environment. These are awareness materials that you can use to help your employees better understand and how to deal with the threats that they face. They released a work from home deployment kit, which is a step-by-step -step kit that helps organizations secure their workforce against the very latest threats. So people know about the spear phishing associated with world events and so forth. It's pretty darn awesome stuff. I recommend you check it out at sans.org slash work from home. Additionally, make a note of this cyber fast track. The idea here is that it's a CTF environment open to the entire community. It runs March 26th and 27th, but you need to register by March 22nd. It's a hard deadline for registration, so you can participate March 26th through 27th. It's open to everyone for a two-day CTF. You'll learn a lot, and you'll have a fantastic time. But if you're a college student, you have an opportunity to win a $22,000 scholarship for the SANS Technology Institute. Now, it's, it's open to everyone, not just college students, but to win the scholarship, you need to be a, a college student. Really cool stuff. I urge you to check it out. And that's going to bring us to a conclusion for this webcast. We'd really like to thank you. We're super excited about these new offerings. And I'm telling you, the entire SANS team, so many people are working so hard to bring this fantastic SANS Cybercast material to you. Uh, they're fun. They're engaging virtual events with all the different aspects that Rob and I just described. We're so thankful for this community. We want to help as much as possible. And for any more details about Cybercast and some of the additional offerings, go to sans.org slash Cybercast. Thank you so much, and I'd like to turn it back over to Carol. All right. Thank you so much, Ed and Rob, for your great presentation, which helps bring